This morning, Jeff Humphrey is getting a look at some of the damage. And Jeff, you really got a first-hand view. I mean, yesterday when this fire was whipping through, you talked to some of the homeowners trying to save their homes. And it's really unfortunate that they were not able to save this particular home near 24th and Park, in the southern part of the Spokane Valley. It was a beautiful home, and the homeowner had done a lot to create a green space around it. But the wind was just blowing through here so strongly that the embers bypassed, flew right over the top of his green space and obviously landed on his roof or something else that was combustible. It's a beautiful home. We can tell that children live here. This is a, their, their satellite dish. It, it, a lot of the stuff isn't recognizable. You can make out the satellite dish. You can make out the, the water heater. But a lot of this gentleman and family's play toys are, uh, are destroyed and you can, you can see that as you poke around. Uh, Mike Winters is the Fire Chief for Cheney, and he's up here kind of assessing for us what really happened, and they feel, he feels based on the char pattern, that this fire came from below the property, came right through the trees, uh, went over the lawn, and somehow ignited on the back side of the house, because if you look at the way the trees are bent, or the way some of the grass is mowed down by the wind, it looks like it came up out of the north, up over this, and that's why this home is gone. Now there's another beautiful home just about 50 yards from here. It is set back from the cliff, and it's fully intact. Their American flag is flying. It doesn't even look scorched. So the, the fire uh, hit some houses, but not others, and uh, it's sad to think about uh, how much this family has lost. Uh, the fire department worries that as the sun comes up, they're going to find more houses that haven't been counted. As you mentioned, that number has now grown from seven to eight in, in just the last hour or so. Reporting live about the Spokane Valley, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Jeff, you mentioned that there was a home close by that didn't burn at all. Now, are those people allowed to go back to their home now that the fire has already burned through the area? When I was talking to the chief just a little while ago, he said the decision about when to allow everyone who's been evacuated from this area, both the people that have a home returned to and the ones that don't, will be made based upon fire behavior. What is this fire going to do as the sun comes up? We always get an easterly wind uh, as the sun comes up. Uh, there's really not a lot of fuel left to burn in here, and the fire appears to be laying down in these better weather conditions. If that holds, we don't get more wind this afternoon and we're not forecasted to right now. Uh, we expect to see those people back in their neighborhood before the day is out. Jeff, on that note, we're, you know the evacuation area is shrinking. In terms of threats to outlying neighborhoods, are, what should people think? I mean, should they let their guard down? For someone like me that's a novice, I mean, is there still a major danger? But uh, like you mentioned with, with the weather patterns. I think it would be overstating it to call a major danger. The, the danger now is that you've got a huge perimeter that has material in it that's going to burn for the next four or five days. They're called sleeper fires, and they burn down into the trunks of trees. And the important thing to do now is go around and eliminate every single one of those burning areas because on Sunday, more wind is expected and if they haven't put out every single ember in this very large fire then you could have another very dangerous situation it's my impression the danger is past for now